hello friends uh, welcome to uh, keyframes online today we'll see uh, how to make uh, selection in photoshop some kind uh, like this uh, where where fur is involved uh, selection process is much more tough because when we use pen tool and marquee tool you can't get proper curves and proper smoothness on the fur for of the animals so today what we'll see is uh, with the help of um, refine edges and the quick selection tool and mask uh, we see how we can uh, do this lab selection in very very less time i'll start my photoshop before uh, giving to selection just check it is a high res It's great. I'll go to a normal. I'll go to pick selection tool, where by default it's on minus or something like this. But I'll stay on plus because I can add on selection. Because when when I'm in this mode, when selection is done like this, I cannot add on this this mode. Fine. So I'll be keeping on add plus mode. So whenever I need it, I can get on adding the selection. I'm pressing Ctrl D to remove the selection. Going to plus, and this is fine brush. You can say when you when you increase the brush size, say you'll get lot of selection. and when you will decrease the size of the brush you will get lesser parts so what we'll do is this is a perfect brush size i'll just move on to get a cell proper selection on it so this is what we don't want in selection so for this i'll just go down to brush size I'll go to minus. I'll go in plus. So I don't want this. I'll go in minus. in photoshop cs6 the most uh, advantage uh, tool of selection is quick selection tool because it really makes the process of selection very fast i don't want this so just control plus for zoom this part i don't want i'll go to n plus and just add smooth selection <coughs> here i don't want so i'll go in minus here i don't want i'll go in minus and remove this i'll go to in refine edge <coughs> this is a new feature from cs5 uh, this has been added uh, you can see directly on black overlay and you can see on white overlay or black overlay or you know my uh, miss life of uh, mask mode you can see 
black and white or on transparent layers how it's appearing you can directly see on these uh, layers so this is original and what we want is we can test this white on black so i'll see first what is the radius radius is nothing because right now it's zero so now we have seen the radius how where its uh, selection is processing i'll go to add some smooth smooth to selection and some feathers feathers will add some smoothness to it this one is fine decontaminate colors is where uh, when we shoot uh, models on green backgrounds or green green screen or blue screen the the some are uh, some kind of uh, spill colors is on cloths so at that time we can do this decontaminate right now what we do is we can refine the radius tool where we can just refine this or you can erase it here is we don't want <coughs> so like this we can minus it Oh, fine. Um, of course, we can do this thing in uh, later on stage. I'll say new layer with mask. I'll say OK. And I'll just add one black background to it. Here, what I've got through this mask, I can say disable see this is what the original is and i'll make this enable i'll go to brush again and make here it's on black i can go and delete these edges like this Uh oh so we can again we can reveal this so we want proper we can reveal this too. if you keep white and click over here you can reveal the mask and restore the images this is what we expect from the selection and if I take a new background I'll take that Labrador
or I can take a brush and an other layer slide we can come down to opacity show the realistic I can say add on eraser or you can make one more thing you can duplicate this layer or you can black make a black on them find you uh, the major thing we have to make a selection and you can we can do various nice things by getting a fast selection process uh, something like this we can say and we can take we can make duplicates uh, very fast by making this selection uh, or making a refine age where we have seen uh, all those uh, things like so that's it uh, have a good time